Alright, now that video was taken on uh, uh, January 2nd, 2013 at UCSD Hillcrest Medical Center in the emergency room. I went there because I ran into a poison oak vine and, um, uh, and uh, about three or four days before and my eyes were all swelled up. So I went to the emergency room and they took me into the back and put me in this little cubby hole that they had separated with curtains, okay, because they had, like, patients back. You know what it looks like in an emergency room, how they take people in the back, and then they put, they have you sit down in a chair, and uh, then you'll have somebody next to you, and you're separated by curtains. And I saw the monitor in there, and I thought to myself, this is a great uh, opportunity to take a picture of what, it looked like the monitor was dedicated for monitoring your heart in reference to the spikes and fluctuations of your heart being monitored. It's the same type of literal uh, program, software program, uh, that's used to monitor the heart that is also used to monitor your EEG uh, fluctuations, your brain, your neural activity, and your physiological signals. Okay, it's the same exact literal pictorial representation that you saw on the monitor in reference to the oscillations. You know, like when your heart beeps, do 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 goes like that. So I thought I'd take out my video camera and take a video picture of it in order to be able to uh, put it online so my fellow targets could have a pictorial representation concerning how remote neural monitoring is monitoring their EEG spikes, okay, their evoked potentials, and their physiological evoked potentials as well. And so, so they could have a memory in their head. See, because when you're a target of gang stalking, go to YouTube and type in John Hall Satellite Terrorism. You'll clearly hear in his videos him talk about gang stalking and remote neural monitoring. Okay? Remote neural monitoring is, at least 98% of the time, always subjected towards any organized stalking, gang stalking target. And as a result, they also experience what is known as the microwave auditory effect. Go to the bottom of Freedom From Covert Harassment and Surveillance and look on the bottom of their homepage. You'll see three PDF links. Remote neural monitoring is the first one, and the microwave auditory effect is the second one. But as a result of the target experiencing the remote neural monitoring and manipulation and the microwave auditory effect, they don't know how it's being done and utilized towards them. So I wanted to give them a pictorial representation concerning how the perpetrators are literally monitoring their EEG spikes, EEG spikes fluctuations, which are your evoked potentials, and that's how their mind is able to be read, okay? And their physiological signals as well. And as I was videotaping that monitor, gang stalking, gang stalker, oh my God, was said around me by staff. Now, I already know that it was because I have over in my possession right now at least, at least... 400 audio files of the same exact method being utilized around me along all my routes. All my routes. Okay? And they're called direct conversation methods where they'll get around a target as a result of its organized harassment. And they achieve it and craft it as a result of knowing where a target's at. And that's achieved at least through the GPS tracking of their cell phone and physical people that they use to monitor a target when they leave their home, apartment, motel room, even a hiking area, RV, car, whatever. And as a result, that's how they place the organized harassment using duped community members to get around the target as a result of them knowing when a target's in a fixed location or when they're mobile or when they're going from one location to another, like a business. And as a result, they had these individuals get around the target, including me, and had them repeat certain words or phrases that they have you sensitized to. And it's the high, extremely high amount of repetition that they, these words are repeat, and phrases that are repeated around you everywhere you go that makes you feel stalked because they sensitize you to them in order to be able to place people around you to repeat them. It's a clever way to make you feel stalked. Go to Google and type in gang stalking and sensitization and then in a separate search, gang stalking and direct conversation methods or organized stalking. So what I do is I make video files in the morning before I leave a specific area which shows a picture, hang on, of my cell phone, which shows the date and time. And like right now it's 12.58 p.m. on today's date, 4-11-2013. And I'll state that I'm going to Best Buy or Ralph's. And I'll state when I get there, let's see if I hear gang stalking, oh my god, gang stalker, gang stalking, oh my god, gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalk around me. And if I do, it'll be picked up on this digital tape recorder, which will show that I was stalked to there in order to be able to place these people there, and even on the bus route getting to there, okay, 
because as it's being recorded, it's a later time on the same date in reference to the time that was shown on the video prediction. Okay? It's 12.58 right now. Say by the time I get to Ralph's, if I'm going to Ralph's, and I make a video prediction saying I'll hear Gangstalker once I get there. By the time I get to Ralph's, it's 2 o'clock. And it's said constantly around me at 2 o'clock. Or on the bus, getting there. Yeah. Like at 1.30. It'll show I was stalked to these places to put this organized harassment around me. Look in the description of this YouTube video for undisputable proof. It would be one thing if they were just saying, gang, uh, if somebody said gang stalk around me once. But what they do is get around me and say, gang stalk, gang stalking, gang stalk, oh my god, gang stalk, gang stalking, oh my god, gang stalking, constantly. I can be on a bus route for a half hour and it's said over 30 to 40 times in that way. Okay, and that's why I make these video predictions because it would be one thing if... See, I don't want to leave these people with any excuses. Well, maybe somebody just knows you're being gang stalked because they saw your videos. Bullshit. My videos aren't titled by my name. Okay? And another thing. It wouldn't be said along all my routes in the way it's happening. No way. No way. They're saying gang stalker. Gang stalking. Gang stalk. Oh my god. Gang stalking. Gang stalk. The same people. Repetitively. Over and over again.